well hello welcome to this channel and today uh i'm going to talk about how but i'm going to serious ah kuna hii story imekuwa ikiendelea youtube na nimekuwa addicted to it nimekuwa nikifuatilia sana ever since ilianza but now imefikia mahali uwezi ku you can wait to watch the next episode and the next um to send me the next video ikikuwa posted kwa channel naongelea story gani naongelea i watch a lot of stories nikiwa kazini usually i listen to them lakini i can tell what's going on so nimekuwa niki watch tuko nimekuwa niki watch liningugi nimekuwa niki watch all those wonderful channels that are doing a good job um so I came across this channel and I saw um True K TV. Na kuna hii story ya Ezekiel na Rose nimekuwa nikifuatilia tangu ianze. God, that story is uh, something else. Do you know what I'm talking about? Let me know on the comment section down below because it's something to learn from. Like kuna vitu mingi ya kusoma from that story. I want somebody to tell me that it's true because sometimes I feel like is it real or is some type of drama because sometimes it seems so real to me and sometimes inakaa ni kama drama yani inakaa ni kama ka comedy fulani kanaendelea so somebody just tell me that's real like ina ni kitu inaendelea if you've been following that story let me know what you think on the comment section but what i'm thinking i just want to share what i was thinking watching all this i've been following right now i'm addicted like every time there's a new video i can't wait to watch it even when i'm at work don't tell me boss <laughs> anyways um today jana if you want to know the entire story just go to true k tv ama kwa channel ya rose uh, i believe in it uh, rose selena show story ni hivi. Ah nimekuwa nikifuatilia so nitaongea what happened uh, yesterday na today. So yesterday Ezekiel ametokea or oh, of late amekuwa akitokea akilia akitaka mke wake arudi uh, and those I think I want to give a, a little ka brief kidogo juu ya story. So huyu ni mwanaume anaitwa Ezekiel uh, na mke wake anaitwa Rose walifanyiwa loyalty test ikapatikana mwanaume ana cheat alikuwa na side chick um, after il, il, <laughs> kuna hii kama darao wanaume wanakuwa nayo mwanamke wako wako kwa nyumba na unaleta side chick bila bila hata kumheshimu mke wako hata kidogo but anyways the story is there you can watch it if you really want but i'm just gonna go through it so ime, ime end up kukua huyu mwanamke wako ametoka kwa nyumba huyu mwanamke wa Ezekiel ametoka kwa nyumba amekuwa stranded huko ametafuta nyumba na watoto all that drama and then saa hii all of a sudden some things happened mwanaume akakosana na side chick mwenye wanaitwa wanamuita Dan or Daniel or whatever <laughs> msichana kaenda kama ni kama kulikuwa na my, kutoelewana kwa nyumba mchana akatoka akaenda mafichoni kidogo all of a sudden mwanaume amerudi mwanaume nikisema mwanaume na maanisha Ezekiel amerudi me i'm thinking anakuwa anakuwa na manipulate minds za watu oh saa hii sasa nimeachana na ule msichana ameniharibia maisha yangu ameniharibia mali, mali zangu business zangu saa hii aziendi so sasa nataka mwanamke wangu wa kwanza wa ndoa arudi nyumbani nimemiss watoto wangu mind you alikuwa anasema hata watoto hawataki mwanamke wake alikuwa anamuita maneno mabaya anamtukana matusi mabaya anamuita ngombe anamuita sijui nini anamuita anam, anam, anam body shame like that's the worst thing you can do to a woman unafanya body shaming kwa mwanamke wako mwenye amekuzalia really like really men i'm talking to kissy men please not all kissy men are bad but some kissy men Oh my god. Mnatuaibisha. Heshimu wanawake. So anyways, 
after hiyo matusi yote all of a sudden una, an, uh, Isaac amerudi ku, ameanza ku manipulate mwanamke wake tiarudi nyumbani anampenda na akiulizwa how about you msichana mwingine site akirudi uta, utafanyaje hapo ana brush off hata itaki kuongelelea guess what happened today ah i watched today nikaona tena Uh, kuna mchungaji mzuri sana ana mediate between them so huyu mchungaji pia ni counselor anafanya kazi nzuri big up to you mchungaji Sami um, so leo leo imekuwa interesting really <laughs> imekuwa so interesting that leo nika watch clips za leo I think zilikuwa kama mbili kwa chano ya True K na zingine uh, na reaction kwa chano ya Rose. Sasa Ezekiel ameingia kwa ofisi ya mchungaji akisema yeye anataka Rose na Rose peke yake. Anataka mtoto watoto wake warudi nyumbani mwanamke wake Rose arudi kwa boma. You see? Haku anajua huyu side chick wake o, vila anamuita mwanamke wake wa pili alikuwa alikuwa ameshaingia before wakafanya ka plan kum, kumtrick Ezekiel waone vile ata react okay. everything in rose huyu mwingine stucky stucky ngoja aingie ndani after kusikia wao yote <laughs> i've never seen somebody change even do do Judas alimtoa Yesu aliruka akaanza oh nilikuwa nimesahau hata sikuwa nataka huyo rose mimi ni wewe nataka like really like seriously what kind of trick is that like it is not even a trick like try something try something else like that's all i can say because that's really ridiculous but anyways Let me know if you're following this story let me know what you're thinking kwa comment section but I wanted to say something <laughs> I've not been making videos but now I'm into these reactions to videos thing like nikiona video inataka ku react to I'm in I want to do something I want to put my opinion and I I want to hear what you guys think too plus another thing I want my channel I I've been having this channel from 2011 I believe and uh I wasn't even using it because I mean I'm always busy working but now uh I thought of something after watching after following this story kuna imenifungua akili kuona kuna watu there's a lot of women that are going through abuse in their marriages and it happens that um Number one, kuna wazazi lakini wazazi hawataki aibu. So uki, ukikuwa married alafu ukue divorce ama utoe kwa marriage yako, wanaona hiyo ni aibu na ukitaka kurudi nyumbani ndio things zikuwe solved unaambiwa vumilia. I can um, advise somebody kuvumilia kwa ndoa yenye unachapwa, unakuwa abuse. Kama mtu ana anakupiga kwa ndoa yako anakuchapa, that's not something ya kuvumilia. Toka. How are you going to get out because wengine ukiambia mtu toka sometimes han, hana mahali pa kwenda hana safe place ya kwenda ndo at least ya atulizi akili vitu zikuwe solved before I rudi what i'm thinking is i want to grow my channel in case kuna income yenye itatoka hapo ikuwe ikifocus kwa hizo cases like kama uko abused Number two, like what will people say msichana wangu aliolewa anitoka kwa ndoa atutaki hizo bla 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 you know what that's number one. so kama wasazi wako wanaona ni aibu na hawataki hawakutaki nyumbani we want to have a safe place for you kwenye utaenda na hatusemi tunafunja ndoa we are not breaking marriages tunataka kukuwe na safe place mwenye mtu angekuwa abusive na anatorokea at least anatuliza akili so that's number one. number two, tunataka kuna watu wengine hata hawana wazazi na unapata wanaume wengine wanateka advantage ya mtu mwenye wanajua hata kama ukitoka hapa kwani utaenda wapi you know such kind of things 
So we need to have a place. I'm Kenyan. I understand the struggles that people go through. Ni meishi maisha chini sana before ni toke Kenya. So I understand what people are going through. And I want to be... Nataka ni toe kamsada kangu kadogo. So please, what I'm trying to ask is subscribe to this channel. Let's grow it together. Ikwe channel in, in, a, in a grow with the main focus of helping those people in uh, abusive situations so that being said before it grow i have a plan in place nataka um every paycheck napata kutoka kazi yangu hiyo tithe and overings mi si sichukui tithe yangu kwa kanisa why because of my personal reasons mkitaka ni share i will make another video for that but my every every paycheck napata nataka nitoe my my 10% hiyo ya ya kupeleka kanisani nitumie watu wenye wako na shida so subscribe uh, leave comments let me know which cases you want me to start with uh, in the meantime to grow hii channel alafu tukipata income kutoka hapa tuendelee ku support watu wengi so nitaanza na my 10% yenye sichukui kanisani nataka kusaidia watu direct uh, i will make another video on why I'm, i've decided to do that lakini kwa sasa jua that's my mission um, i want this video to be long but kama una watch a true kai tv kama una una support uh, rose na uniambie venye hii story imefika what do you think so thank you so much for listening to me and uh, please subscribe. Let's grow this channel to to support what when you, wa mama, especially wa mama. Kuna wanaume yes kama watatokea pia watakuwa supported. Lakini nataka focus ikwe sana kwa wanawake because wanawake wewe ndo unatoka kwa kwenu unaenda kwa mwanaume. Ukienda huko na uteseke na una support system nyumbani then inakuwa na unapata hata uko na watoto so inakuwa very very hard so with all that being said nataka niachie hapa juu imekuwa too long we'll see you on the next one thank you bye bye